Howdy champs, my name is Mohitan guys, today I want to show you how to make uh, transparent overlays but these overlays uh, trigger only when you mouse over the uh, pictures in fact let me show you a preview in uh, Google Chrome and we'll understand it much better so guys these are the two pictures in questions in question that have been placed in uh, separate divs and the moment I mouse over either of the pictures you can actually see that we have a transparent overlay which is tucked in the left top corner and uh, which has the title which talks about the picture which gives you the description basically so not only is it transparent not only does it show the title or the caption it is triggered off only on a mouse over and when you take the mouse out it disappears so uh, upfront it does feel like that it was probably done using uh, maybe a flash and action script 3 but this uh, was made possible only with Dreamweaver guys using Dreamweaver behaviors mouse over and mouse out behaviors and we'll soon see how I actually did that okay so momentarily let me show you the code right there it is right so we have the on mouse out and on mouse over triggers right so I think uh, let's start doing it in a fresh file okay so we'll understand uh, things a lot better so let me close the file up let me open up a new uh, HTML file cool and whatever is above the body tags let me collapse it like so and then let me insert a new div tag let me go back to the split view guys let me save this document up okay let me call it uh, transparent overlays hmm. let me then say insert layer objects div tag cool let me give it a class let me call it uh, wrapper because ultimately it's going to wrap the uh, pictures let me call it wrapper let me click on the new CSS rule button let me say ok let me go to the box category and then let me define the width and the height so that's 600 by 300 simply because that is the width and the height of the pictures that I'll be using ok let me set the positioning to a relative guys right and we'll soon see why I actually did that uh, let me set it to relative and uh, let me go with the border let's say uh, let, let's go with the dashed border thin pound sign triple three triple three right let me say okay let me say okay once again and let me delete the text that's inside the div right let me show it to you in the live view so we have an empty div out you can notice out here we have an empty div right <clears throat> now I'm gonna bring in a picture now so I'm gonna say insert image and uh, let me get in the first picture I'm skipping the alternate text although you shouldn't when you're making a website it's always a good habit to uh, put the alt text anyways so the picture is exactly the size of the div so it sits very nicely tucked uh, in all the four corners properly right okay so we are basically done with the wrapper cool now guys what I'm gonna do is uh, let me also give it a title let me call it uh, transparent overlay now next guys what I'm gonna do is I will keep the cursor the blinking cursor out here inside my dev okay inside my dev out here let me be in the code view out here guys and then let me insert uh, another dev that's a dev tag and this time let me call it uh, overlay let me give it a class overlay let me click on the new CSS rule button let me say ok and uh, let me go to the box category let me give a width of 600 
a uh, height of 50 okay basically I can, I, can, I can keep it at 100% as well let me keep it at 100% uh, and yes guys let me keep the positioning absolute at the same time let me say oh let me keep the placement top zero and let me say okay let me say okay once again and let me go to the split view and show it to you there we are guys S now I'll tell you why did I actually keep the uh, outer div which is the rapid div at a relative and the inner div the AP div the absolute position div at zero only if I keep the outer div the rapid div relative will I be able to keep it keep the top zero and tuck it in, in the, the left top corner otherwise I cannot I, it was uh, com it always was mandatory that I keep the outer div to relative otherwise the positioning would not have worked the way it is working right now cool anyways so let me go back to the overlay uh, div which is actually an AP div strictly speaking uh, I'm gonna go to the background color and then I'm going to use the RGBA color model, guys. So that's RGBA, A for alpha. So I'm going to use a transparent color. So I'm going to say 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5. So let's see what exactly has happened now. Let me go to the live view. Guys, you can actually see. Let me show it to you in the browser. So have a look out here, guys, that this strip here at the top, I'm not so sure if you can see it very clearly, is actually transparent. This black strip, which is actually an AP div, simply because I've changed the type of the div to an AP div, absolute position div. Sitting inside a relative div, the top position has been set to zero. And using the RGBA color model, guys, I made sure that it's uh, transparent. Right. If uh, let me in fact do one thing, uh, let me drop the transparency down to let's say a 0.3 just momentarily so that uh, you can understand things much better. Let me show you a preview in Google Chrome now. And there you go, guys, it's, it's at 30% now, so pretty transparent. You can actually see the smoke through. All right, okay, <clears throat> cool. Now, let me come with a live view, guys, and out here inside the div which has a class overlay I'm gonna write something I'm gonna say smoking hot coffee uh, smoking hot coffee right let's see how it actually looks now <sighs> okay you can't see that's because the the color of the font is actually black now you can actually see it let me go to the live view there you are guys actually want this smoking hot coffee to be a h4 actually header four i want it to be a header four let me go to the live view and show it to you it's actually a header four right now all right so also guys uh, since uh, it's it's actually touching the edges i wouldn't want that so what i'll do is uh, i'll cover the live view I'll make sure that uh, the H4 element is selected. I'll click on the plus button automatically, guys. Uh, you can have a look that everything inside the wrapper, uh, rather everything inside the uh, overlay, which is inside the wrapper, which is actually H4. So this selector, the, the rule that we are going to create will affect all H4 elements that are uh, within overlay and overlays within wrapper. So I'm going to make a change out here. I'm going to remove overlay completely. So I'm going to say as long as H4 element is inside the wrapper element, I'm fine. And we'll soon see why I actually did that. So let me say okay. And then guys, let me apply some margin. So let me go to the box category and let me say a left margin of let's say 10. Let me click apply and uh, let me say okay. And let's have a look out here. Uh, but you see it still uh, displays a bit towards the bottom so I'm gonna change that too let's go back to the raw box category and let me go with the top margin of 10 and let's see how it actually affects so let's try 12 let's try 14 
Yep, that that that's that's perfect. So let me show it to you in the browser, Google Chrome, and there you have the transparent uh, overlay and uh, the H2 or the H4 element, uh, which is actually showing the caption through. Cool. Now, guys, uh, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna go to the division where the class is overlay and I'm gonna give it uh, an ID okay and the ID that I wish to give it is let me call it NV right I'll tell you why I'm actually doing that I'm going to attach behaviors and in order to attach behaviors guys you need to make sure that uh, You need to make sure that the elements have an ID. Cool. Right. <clears throat> now I'm going to go to the Tag Inspector tab and then I'll make sure that I have selected the div, uh, the class of which is a wrapper. You need to make sure that you've highlighted uh, this bit or this much. That's uh, very very important guys very very important and then I'm gonna attach uh, some behaviors I'm gonna say plus I'm gonna say change properties and then I'm saying I want to change the property of the division which is in V okay and uh, the property that I want to change is uh, in fact let me let me come back to it a little later there was a step that I actually missed guys let me go back to the CSS rules now guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the rule which is overlay I'm gonna double click I'm gonna go to the positioning category I'm gonna set the visibility to a hidden let me say okay and guys the caption or the overlay has actually disappeared let me show it to you in Google Chrome it's gone right Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tag Inspector, making sure that I have selected the div, the class of which is wrapper. Okay, let me then click on the plus button. Let me go to Change Property. Let me drop down, select Division in V. Now that is uh, the AP div, guys, the class of which is uh, overlay. Okay, and next I'm gonna change the visibility from a hidden to a visible let me say okay but I want to do all that not on a focus but on a mouse over uh, beg your pardon on a mouse over right let me save the changes up and notice out here some code has been generated and has been attached to the div which which has the class wrapper let me show you a preview in Google Chrome guys okay now have a look out here the moment I hover over the outer div which is the wrapper you can actually see the caption and the overlay showing through let me refresh and reload the page and uh, there you see it again smoke cannot copy Cool. Right. Mm. All right. So, so let me come with the live view, guys. I'm gonna attach one more behavior this time. Let me click on the plus button. Let me say change properties. Uh, select division in V. Then go to visibility once again. And this time, I'm gonna say hidden. But hidden on a mouse out on a mouse out sorry a mouse out behave right let me show you a preview in Google Chrome after saving the changes and let's see how it actually behaves now so beautiful you can actually see the overlay and the caption appearing and disappear on a mouse over and a mouse out respectively exactly what I wanted to do that's lovely right Next, guys, uh, let me completely shift to the code view for some time. Okay, now whatever is inside the body area, okay, the two divisions, the class of which are wrapper and in V, 
uh, and overlay respectively I'm gonna copy that that's a control C and I'm gonna hit enter twice out here I'm gonna paste it hit enter twice once again to create some space and now guys follow me exactly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the in V to a in V1 out here okay out here as well uh, that's the second place I'm changing in V2 in V1 okay instead of the image which is coffee.jpg I'm changing it to a different picture which is in my local site folder so from a coffee I'm changing it to a drink.jpg all right and even out here where it says inv I'm gonna change it to inv1 rest everything I'm gonna keep it as it is okay so I'm keeping the class class to a wrapper I'm keeping the other class overlay as overlay, but I'm changing the ID from an NV to an NV1. That's the only change that I'm making, guys. All right, and I'm also changing the IMG SRC or the source of the image or the picture from a coffee.jpg, which was in my local site folder, to a drink.jpg, which is another picture in my local site folder. Let me go to the split view and, in fact, let me take a preview in Google Chrome after saving the changes to see what exactly has uh, happened so lovely guys it's just that when I go over the uh, this uh, blueberry drink I think it's a blueberry drink it still says uh, smoking hot coffee I'm gonna change that let me go back to Dreamweaver and uh, out here line number 49 let me go to the code view I need to change the caption to let's say uh, a cool drink it's pretty hot here. I wish I could uh, have a sip of this ring, guys. Indian summer. Very uncomfortable uh, here at Mumbai. Anyways, let me take a preview in uh, Google Chrome again. And there you go. There you go. So that's uh, smoking hot coffee and that's uh, a cool ring. Now what I'm going to do is let me go back to the CSS tile. Let me go back to the... Uh, div which is the wrapper div let me double click let me go to the box category and then let me set the flow to a left let me say okay let me take a preview once again Google Chrome all right so looking uh, much better let me also do something else in the In the same uh, class, the wrapper class, I'm going to go to the box category and uh, let me apply left and right margins as well. In fact, let me, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Let me have a look now. Taking a preview in Google Chrome, guys. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. All right. So, guys, uh, this kind of uh, of a, a you know effect or caption or you can you can call it transparent overlays are triggered on a mouse over they remove themselves on a mouse out okay so what's happening out here is through the behaviors through reviewer behaviors and they're so powerful as you can uh, see right now guys I'm making sure that when someone hovers over the div the outer div the class of which is wrapper when somebody mouses over it I would want the inv or the invisible div respectively to show up the visibility property go from a hidden to a visible and from a visible to a hidden and toggle between the two and how beautifully uh, it was done guys I have a feeling that this is something uh, most of you would want to latch on to would like to implement and I hope you enjoyed it too guys so I hope to see you very soon with yet another flash or it could be a review tutorial I hope to see you very soon guys you have a very good day guys bye bye peace